Hi, it's Sherry and Shane Radio watching Wednesday, Season 1, Episode 7. If you don't woe me by now, I have loved this show. Reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. It's time for the penultimate episode. Let's go! So those are my two suspects. Still as sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle Fester. I've never seen her look so happy! You've actually made a friend. That poor kid will be going home in a body bag. Ouch. Spees are hibernating. They're practically Eugene's children. Mm -hmm. That means do not eat them. Mm-hmm. She's serious. She cares about people. You know, when you give me that death stare of disapproval, you remind me of your mother. <laughs> Speaking of scary things, it's called a hide. Like Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde? Mm -hmm. No! Leave the bees alone. Thank you. Goody predicted this quest for answers would become a lonely pursuit. Of course, Goody is no one to her. her. Solitude suits me. With no annoying distractions, I'm almost finished Wednesday, with my Wednesday, tell the truth. Was I an annoying distraction? Out of your obsession with all things creepy and dead, you could gas an entire small village with the amount of proof you knew spritz. That's just off the top of my head. Girls. Guess I'm the lucky. In fact, you apologize so Wednesday. She's begging me to be her new roomie permanently. Don't let me hold you back. Enjoy Wednesday. Your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude if you're still here. I'll save you some time. There's nothing in here matching that thing. Isn't that convenient? You know what your problem is? It's not him. You don't know who your real friends are. I've been on your side since day one. I literally saved your life. What do I get in return? Just nothing but suspicion and lies. Fine. You want honesty? Here it is. Mm -hmm. Every time the monster has attacked, you have been right there. <laughs> Starting with Rowan at the Harvest Festival. Tyler was also there. You For some reason I cannot fathom or indulge, you seem to like me. What's to like? I mean, you are accusing him based on circumstantial evidence, but he can't deny that there is circumstantial evidence. It's also not him. Here it is. Got it. Artists by nature, but equally vindictive in temperament. Born of mutation, the hide lays dormant until unleashed. Artists by nature does sound like Xavier. By a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement or hypnosis. This act causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator, the creature now sees it's its master. Oof! That makes so much sense! So, Laurel unlocked it in Tyler, or Xavier, Tyler, and then that's why it does her bidding, and yes. That means I'm not looking for one killer, but two. And one of them, it's not their fault. The monster, it's master. You two seemed as thick as thieves. Like that could so be a wig and she could be Laurel. Now that she's gone, you might actually miss her. I'll survive alone. I always have. That doesn't mean you don't miss her, and it doesn't mean you should have to. I'll submit the Okay, I can meet you there in like twenty minutes. Is he gonna be the next victim? Who are you talking to? His master. None of your goddamn business. I don't know what you are, Zay. Can you stay the hell away from me? Does the thing say that when the hide is human, it knows? Because if it doesn't know, then it's not really human person's fault. This is everything. <laughs> it would actually be interesting if it was Xavier and it was just the most obvious suspect. What Ooh. Maybe it is him! I don't miss her. Yes, you Friends do. Friends are a liability and can be ex okay. Maybe Xavier just sees the therapist and just needed to talk. <laughs> Therapists Maybe. say if you're having a crisis, I'm 24-7 available. This is very sweet. It's gone to a lot of trouble. No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before? How do you feel about scary movies? This is a very lovely date. He's definitely the monster. To be horrified.
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but I never saw the two of you here. You got it? Unbelievable. <laughs> Come on. Someone. Oh my god, warehouse thing. Diary. about people she cares about the people she cares about so much if you die i will kill you wednesday go again no again please you love the people you love so fiercely sweetheart never thought i'd be feeling emotional about a hand If you need anything, I'll be right down the hall. With your monster? I still don't fully trust her. He wanted to determine if they were just mindless killers or conscious of their actions. Oof. What was his conclusion? He was killed by a hive before he could reach one. Fuck. Others tried to... If you suspect someone, you need to tell me. Why? All you've ever done is gaslight and obstruct me. You don't care how many people die as long as your reputation is safe. Laurel Gates? Looks like he yeah. started right after Robin's day. He must have recognized her there. According to the British police report, Laura was presumed drowned, but no body was ever recovered. So it's not the therapist then. Was purchased a year ago by and then comes back to Jericho as someone else. Why? It's the teacher. I know you're Laurel Gates. And you've come back to Jericho to seek your revenge. And so did Mayor Walker, which is why you had to The mayor wouldn't have just recognized I mean, her. Better to decide but... in and out of the hospital. You are so out of line. Do you know how violent it's not her. Pride can be? Time's up, Laurel. Wednesday, you've got it wrong. That wasn't the action of someone who's been cornered. But the men might have recognized the new teacher on outreach day. It's, it's Valerie Kinbot. Oh god. So is Wednesday going to think the Hyde just attacked its master, or is she going to think she's wrong? Spying on me, right? It's not him. I know what you think it is. I enjoy this one in particular. What do you want? I'm asking Fuck. questions. Did he call her because he'd painted that and he was frightened for her, or...? What is Rones and Haler doing in your shed? Someone's framing him because they know she suspects him. Somebody planted that stuff. Please! Drop the knife. Get on your knees. It's not him. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Kenny, will be Wednesday, you're wrong. You right He's been framed. Hey. You're back. I'm gone for a few days. The place gets trashed and Thing almost dies. Someone's got to look out for you, too. Bless what happened to Roman with Yoko? Skip the tape. Hmm. Don't tell me Wednesday Adams is mellowing out. Hmm. Never. Hmm. We're like evolving. Mm -hmm. One inch of duct tape at a time. Because we work. We shouldn't, but we do. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. Everything you said about me is true, but I don't apologize for it. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. They're both unapologetically themselves, and it's we love it. Who I am. Thanks, Sodi, missed you. I missed him too. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, be careful, please. But just, if it's Tyler, I really, really hope he doesn't know when he's like this. Oh, she had a vision touching him. I was right. But does he know? Though he must do because he came back to himself over her. You need to go. Okay. Oh fuck, the door's locked. So, 
when I was randomly accusing him, right at the beginning, it was just kind of me throwing paint at the wall and seeing what stuck. But in general, just because he was a normie, he was one of the outcasts, and he was so trusting, then I think if the show had cast a bit more suspicion his way, I would have suspected him less. The more suspicion they put on Xavier and the less other suspects there were, the fewer other suspects there were, the more it seemed likely it had to be him. But I wasn't 100% sure, but it does feel good. But also devastating. How, like, does he lose of memories course, of it? The first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic, serial killing monster. Not his fault. I guess I have a type. Yes. And can she go to the sheriff? Could she tell the sheriff? It's actually his son, I got it wrong. Okay, this episode was fantastic. Um, we finally got some answers and. You know, of course, Paul Wednesday, it would be the boy that she decided she actually liked. I mean, it was clear from the beginning that Xavier liked her. She doesn't totally dislike him, but her feelings were not going in that direction at all. Um, my favourite part of this episode was Enid and Wednesday's making up. Them kind of both admitting that they care about each other and that they care about each other despite being polar opposites in so many ways. But they work and they do really, really work. Um, so I'm glad they're back to being friends very stressed for Xavier because I mean I, I'm very stressed for him I also feel like probably in the finale we're gonna prove that it's Tyler but at the same time it's the sheriff's son is the sheriff gonna be like yeah that's my son I'll lock him up or is he gonna be like no it's not my son it's that outcast boy and my, my, my son's just gone to a retreat in um Lithuania so yeah like um it's, it's this boy you <laughs> know I don't know we will see um who is one thing gonna trust with this information at this point um but yeah it is a lot now i don't blame her for thinking it was xavier because there were a lot of the evidence was all there i can only imagine like i've been saying his father is a seer so yes his abilities are to make paintings come to life make drawings come to life that there's probably some seeriness in him which is why he's having the visions like that um and potentially if he has visions of terrible things could be why he's got dodgy mental health or whatever as a character i think it's not gonna be great for him that the girl he liked got him arrested but at the same time hopefully with some if they get him out of the situation with some time and distance he might be able to look at it and be like okay yeah no like i, I do understand it didn't look good did it um and then the final nail was him being framed now the thing that made it seem even more likely it had to be tyler is because i'm pretty sure she had named xavier to tyler if i'm wrong about that i'm wrong maybe thornhill overheard because i'm now like 100% sure that Thornhill is Laurel Gates. Um, do Laurels have thorns and then hills have gates? Gates have hills? I don't know. Um, but it's just, it's very well done, this mystery. I'm loving how it's all coming together. So obviously in this one, she's realised she got it very, very wrong. She was feeling quite good about her deductive skills. Now her deductive skills weren't totally off, but I think there was a little bit of confirmation bias. She wanted it to be Xavier from fairly early on because he was a because she, she saw him right after the transformation. And so she kind of was when you have a suspect in mind, it is very, very dangerous because you will start seeing all the signs pointing to them. Whereas if you keep an open mind and have a lot of suspects, then you can see all the signs wherever they point. Um, there weren't really many signs pointing to Tyler other than the fact that he was too nice. Um, but he had sessions with the therapist now that that's not the way. Very interesting. What happened to his mother? That could something have happened there that's what triggered it, or was it I just it's just so interesting. Did he go to that camp and I'm just I'm just fascinated and I cannot wait to find out because I feel like in the finale we surely got to find out. Um I honestly don't know who Wednesday is going to turn to now because will she tell the principal or will she just go to her friends? What could her friends do? I don't know that she'll go to the sheriff because like if it was literally anybody else I think she would go to the sheriff and be like oh I got it wrong it's this boy um Sam from Algebra but like it's his son it's just so interesting um oh it's just so good um Uncle Festa was in this episode right I'm literally because I watched two in a row I'm like what happened in this episode it was good to see him um whichever episode we saw him in no in this one just seeing wednesday both thriving getting more of an understanding of who she is of how she cares about people seeing how much she cares about thing 
because she does care about people and we've discussed that at length we don't need to discuss it again but she thinks she doesn't or she doesn't want to admit she does she struggles with admitting she does but i think enid being cross with her and leaving really helped her kind of it was like a slap in the face of i have feelings i care about people yes you don't care about strangers or horrible people or idiots but you care about the people that matter and that is a really really good thing i wonder what how good he's going to come into play i wonder joseph crackstone and everything there's one episode and a lot of stuff to be done i am pretty sure this show was renewed for a season two thank god and you know at the beginning of the season i really didn't know whether it was going to be kind of a plot line one and done or whether the plot line was going to extend at this point i'm thinking cliffhanger plot line extending would or at the very least not everything being resolved cliffhanger extending could well be what's happening this episode was so good i just literally that ending oh i've vindicated Part of why I thought it was Tyler was because I've seen a lot of these types of shows and it's often that kind of character. Um, but I was willing to be wrong. They did a very good job of making it seem like it had to be Xavier, which made it... The more a show is like, it is this character, the more you're like, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, this is just such a good show. I cannot wait for the finale. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. And thank you so much for watching. Two weeks in advance. Thank you so much for watching.